Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're diving deep into how data science is transforming healthcare. Yeah, it's really incredible to see the impact it's having, you know. Especially in areas with limited resources. Absolutely. And, you know, a big shout out to Afterwork for supporting this episode. Yeah, big thanks to them. Their work with these emerging data scientists is just... It's crucial, you know, really shaping the future of this field. So before we really get into it, um, I want to kind of set the stage. Yeah, paint us a picture. Yeah, imagine a rural village like in India where access to good health care is a struggle every single day. Yeah. And now picture a simple mobile app. Right. Powered by data science that can connect these patients with doctors hundreds of miles away. It's really a game changer. You know, yeah. these, these healthcare workers in these villages, they can actually use this app to take pictures of a patient's symptoms and send it off to a specialist who can help make a diagnosis. That's right. It's like bringing specialized care to people who may have never had access before. Exactly. And that's just one example, you yeah. know. It's a really powerful story that kind of illustrates the potential here. For sure. It really highlights how we can use technology to you know, break down these barriers and make healthcare more accessible. So today we're going to explore all the different ways data science is revolutionizing healthcare. Yeah, we've got a lot to cover. Um, we'll talk about personalized diagnosis and treatment, mm -hmm. bridging the gap in rural and remote healthcare, yep. streamlining hospital operations, mm -hmm. predicting and preventing outbreaks, right. and empowering people through preventative care. It's going to be a fascinating deep dive. It is. Okay, so let's start with this idea of personalized diagnosis and treatment. Okay. Now, we know every patient's unique, right? Right. But data science is taking that to a whole new level. Yeah, absolutely. We're kind of moving away from this one-size-fits-all approach to healthcare. You know, now we're using all this data yeah. from medical history and genetics to their lifestyle choices, environmental factors, all of it, wow. to really predict potential health risks. So it's like a custom healthcare plan almost. Exactly. It is. It's like tailored specifically for you Amazing. based on your circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. You can think of it as precision medicine, you know, where treatments are really targeted to the individual. And that, of course, leads to better outcomes and hopefully prevents diseases before they even start. That's incredible. And, you know, it's interesting because this is where that story of the mobile app in India really comes into play. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because it uses machine learning to do this you know it does assess symptoms recommend treatments mm -hmm. based on the individual patient yeah it's bringing that power of personalized medicine to the people who need it most yeah and in places where maybe they don't have the best health care resources exactly it's a great example of bridging that gap so data science isn't just about these fancy algorithms right it's about real people and real solutions it's about making healthcare accessible effective and equitable for everyone so we've talked about how data science can personalize healthcare, but it's not just about individual patients, right? It's also about transforming the way we deliver care, mm -hmm. especially in those remote and underserved areas. Exactly. And that brings us to our next topic. Yeah. Bridging the gap in rural and remote healthcare. And this is where telemedicine comes in. Yeah. Powered by data science, of course. Of course. Imagine like consulting with a specialist thousands of miles away. Right without even leaving your village. It sounds futuristic, but it's happening. It's happening now. Yeah. Telemedicine is letting doctors diagnose, monitor, even treat patients remotely. It's pretty amazing. Using all these tools like video conferencing, digital imaging, you know, wow. all kinds of things to break down those barriers and make healthcare more accessible. And this is where that mobile app we were talking about comes in again. Right. It's not just assessing symptoms. It's also <laughs> connecting those rural patients with doctors in urban areas. Yeah, for those virtual consultations, exactly. Like we were saying, it's closing that gap between patients and providers. In even the most remote parts of the world. It really is incredible. But it's not just about telemedicine. Right. Data science is also changing the way hospitals operate. Uh-huh, making them more efficient. More efficient. Yeah. And patient-centered. We're seeing it used to streamline everything from patient flow yeah. to bed allocation. Uh-huh, inventory management, how they allocate resources. It's like having this control tower for the hospital. It is. It's optimizing every single thing. Wow. So you end up with shorter wait times, happier patients. And better care. Exa oh. Better care. Exactly. And, you know, this is especially important in those areas with limited resources. Right. Where efficiency is key. Where efficiency is key because every minute, every resource matters. Yeah. And data science can help them make the most of what they have. Absolutely. Now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about public health. Okay. You know, I think we're all very aware of the impact of disease outbreaks, especially after the past few years. Right. But data science is offering us a new weapon 
in this fight against infectious diseases. It really is. It's a game changer. Because we can now analyze huge amounts of data. Mm. Weather patterns, travel data. Social media trends, what people are searching for online. You name it. All of it, yeah. yeah. And we can use that to predict outbreaks before they even happen. Wow, that's like having an early warning system. It is. It's pretty amazing. And this means that public health officials can start preparing. Right. You know, they can launch targeted vaccination campaigns, allocate resources to high-risk areas. So we can prevent these outbreaks from becoming major epidemics? Exactly. It's like stopping a storm before it forms. That's a great way to put it. And data science can also help us track these outbreaks. Yeah, once they happen. By analyzing real-time data mm -hmm. from things like phone location data. Mm -hmm. Social media activity, you know. We can monitor how it's spreading, right. identify the hotspots. And then we can respond more effectively. It's like having a GPS for disease outbreaks. It is, yeah, guiding us to the source and helping us contain them. And remember, this is especially important in those areas with weaker healthcare systems. Because a small outbreak can have devastating consequences. Exactly. This is all so fascinating. It is. It's giving us the tools to be more proactive mm -hmm. about healthcare, mm -hmm. both individually and globally. But let's not forget about prevention. Right. The best way to treat a disease is to prevent it in the first place. And this is where data science can really help us with preventive care. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're seeing all these lifestyle and wellness apps popping up. Right. Using data science to help people. Take control of their own health. Yeah, track their sleep. Their activity level. Their diet, even their mood. It's like having a little health coach in your pocket. It is, and they're getting more and more sophisticated, too. Oh, really? Using machine learning to really personalize your experience and give you advice that actually makes sense for you. So it's not just generic advice. No. It's tailored to you. That's fantastic. It's about empowering people. To be proactive about their health. Exactly. And data science is making it easier and more fun. Absolutely. It's about shifting from reactive care to being proactive and preventing problems before they start. And that's good for everyone. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I think it's time to bring it all back to that mobile app we were talking about. Okay, yeah, the one in India. Connecting those patients with doctors. It's such a great example of how we can use data science to solve real problems. Yeah, and make healthcare more accessible for everyone. Exactly. It's about using technology to break down barriers and give everyone a chance at a healthier life. It's not just about numbers and algorithms. It's about people. It's about making a difference. Absolutely. So as we wrap up our deep dives today, Let's go over some key takeaways. Okay. We've seen how data science is changing healthcare from personalized treatment to reaching people in remote areas, streamlining those hospitals, predicting outbreaks even, and helping us prevent disease in the first place. It's pretty amazing the impact it's having. It really is. So to help you remember all this, okay. let's go back to that image of the mobile app. Connecting those patients and doctors. Yeah. Think about how it's breaking down those barriers and making healthcare more equitable. Yeah, it's a powerful image. Use that to remember everything we talked about today. Personalized treatment, remote diagnosis. More efficient hospitals. Predicting outbreaks and the power of prevention. It's a lot to take in. It is, but it's clear that data science is already making a difference in people's lives. And the future of healthcare is looking brighter than ever. I want to thank all of our listeners for joining us on this deep dive. Yeah, thanks for listening. And a special thanks to Afterwork for their incredible support of these emerging data scientists. They're the ones who are going to shape the future of this field. Be sure to check out their website. Yeah, they've got tons of resources. So learn more about the fascinating world of data science. It's definitely worth checking out. And with that, we'll wrap up today's show. Until next time. Stay curious and keep exploring.